hello friend congratulations today you are going to be zero to hero in azure functions what are azure functions what are their benefits why we call them serverless everything i will cover i will break it down with real examples step by step diagram and show you exactly where why and how to use azure functions in your real applications as you can see i will explain with the help of visuals because that is easy to remember and yes this is one this question is the favorite question if in azure interviews especially for developers and if you learn it you can easily crack your interviews also so let's get started what are azure functions have you ever used them in your project why trust me if you are from development background then this is the question that can get you the selection in the interview and today i will give you the selection answer let's first understand with the help of the example suppose you and your development team team have created a web application inside azure you have the front end which can be in angular react javascript then front end will pass the request to the api server which can be in dotnet java node right then if there is any database then the backend will get the data from the database so these front end backend can be inside the virtual machines or can be in the app service also okay as your app service now there is a user and he is doing for example sign up in your application now suppose while signing up user is uploading his photo or some image document that photo will be stored in the azure blob storage which i will explain in upcoming question in short in azure azure blob storage is used for storing images okay uh, clear until now so this is the basic thing now listen carefully as the images user is uploading and maybe the images are of very large size and they are taking too much space inside your azure blob storage because of their those large images your company azure billing cost will increase because larger images will need larger storage meaning larger cost right now as an azure developer you come up with a solution and idea and you created one service in azure which is a azure function remember azure function is just a piece of code okay and that piece of code you will write inside the azure function and that function you will apply on this azure blob storage so what will happen whenever any image will come to the azure blob storage then on that one event will be triggered will be invoked and immediately and automatically this azure function will be called and the code inside the azure function will be executed automatically and that code will compress the size of the image which is just arrived okay so as soon as the image will uh, arrive in blob storage it will be compressed by the azure function code okay so as a result all the images inside the azure blob storage are store, stored in the compressed form which will take less storage meaning low azure cost for your company right and you will get the employee of the month award so great so that is one example but this is a very common example and if you say this example in the interview then interviewer will think that you have read it somewhere so there is one more example very simple example suppose you want to ensure that whenever user signs up okay then one welcome email will be automatically sent to the user okay for that you can write one azure function which will be triggered automatically as soon as the front end uh, server will receive the sign up request from the user okay and this as your function will be sending the welcome email to the user 
okay that's it so now i am sure azure function purpose is 100 percent clear to you it is used to trigger some activity some code is written inside it which will activate whenever there is a trigger okay and here is the simple and very easy to remember definition azure function is a server less compute service uh, in azure that lets you run code in response to events without managing infrastructure okay and here is the advantage of a uh, function it automatically scales and executes only when triggered making it cost efficient and lightweight means if your code is there in the azure and only when it is triggering then only it will cost you otherwise it will not cost you anything okay meaning some event must happen to trigger the functions all right now if you want to revise for your interviews then just you have to take the simple look of this clean and clear diagram and the definition and the revision will be done and right and if you, you understand everything which i explained then write crystal clear in the comments or chat that will give you confidence and you will never forget this concept okay now in the interviews they can also ask one indirect question to you about azure function that why don't you write the azure function code directly inside your main application uh, for example if the com co code which is used for compressing the image can be directly written inside the application right so why are you not doing that so that i will answer you in the upcoming question quick update before the next question i cracked azure interview after facing many rejections from that experience I created this complete Azure interview course. This course include five things. Number five, 200 interview questions, all topics step by step, even if you are an Azure beginner. Fourth, real scenario based questions, just like in real interviews. Third, you can check your interview preparation status by marking questions prepared or not prepared. Second is this PDF book for quick revision. And first is Azure top 10 mock interviews. Many student cracked interviews using my courses. You can be the next. Codes and book links are given in the description. If you are interested, great. If not, no worries. Let's continue with the next question. What are the important steps to write the code of an Azure function? Share example. So I will show you a simple Azure function code and that I will explain. Here is the code. Uh, don't worry i will explain this okay so first of all you can write the azure function code in the c sharp java javascript and many more languages and yes remember it's not necessary that your main application code and your function code language is same your main application can be in java and you can write the function in c sharp they can be different okay no problem so that is one thing now azure functions you know run independently from the main application server that's why the language can be different now in this code we have three things you have to know first each function starts with a method marked by the function name like this this is the way and then in the bracket you can write the actual function name for example you have created this function simple email so by looking at this code the compiler will understand that okay this simple email is a function because it has this function name here okay this is the first point second point is run is the method inside azure function that execute when you, the when this function is triggered okay and third point is you have to specify the type of the trigger on which this azure function will be executed here like it is http trigger it can be blob trigger whatever trigger you have to mention it here okay finally this, these are the three main steps finally inside the curly braces you can write the code or logic for example this is the code to send the auto emailers whenever someone is signing up so 
here you can basically write any custom code whatever you want your function should do you can write here okay in short when a request from user will comes then this http trigger will be invoked and this simple email function will be executed great so that is the whole story and the same three main points which are used to create the functions are written here so that you can easily refer from the book later and never forget this answer okay here is a short question which might be you already know what is the difference between azure function and function app so there might be some confusion so let's clear the confusion answer is here very simple azure function is what a single unit of execution a function that runs based on the trigger so we are mostly talking about azure function whereas function app is a container that groups multiple azure function together so normally in azure when you create uh, if you want to create azure function you have to create one function app and inside that function app you have to create your actual azure function as per your application requirement so function app is just like a container okay it's nothing else azure function is the actual code which you will create and you will place and inside the function app you can place many many azure functions okay so that is the simple answer to this simple question you want to send an email when a file is uploaded in azure blob storage what would you use pause the video think think not in terms of single word things how you will explain also okay done here is the answer use azure function with blocked uh, trigger it automatically executes code when a new file is uploaded to a container and uh, if so this is the answer and if your uh, uh, thing is very simple then you can you also use as your logic apps that is can also be i forgot to write here but that is can is also is a possibility a developer adds as your function code inside their ma main app okay what's the problem what's the risk what's the disadvantage pause the video think tick tick one tick tick two done here is the answer mixing function code inside the app increases coupling okay that will hurt scalability and affects performance because your main appli code, uh, application code will be bigger and larger which will take time to execute functions should be isolated for better maintainability simple great job my friend the way you finished it shows your seriousness and dedication towards your azure code now if you understand these azure functions then there is one better alternative of azure functions in some scenarios that i have explained in my complete course using very simple and easy to remember visuals many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews so if you are also serious about cracking your next as your interview and do not want to miss a single question then check out this course link and the pdf book link in the description below